when you know your self-worth, you start to show up as, up as a completely different person. You show up as secure, confident, you're not needy, you know the value that you bring as a person, and you stop playing small. You stop settling for the bullshit. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you some tips on how to start feeling worthy. These tips have worked for me, and I know that they're going to work for you. But before I get into this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I'm Emily, and I'm here to inspire and empower you to become the best version of yourself. If you've been following me long enough, you know I'm going to tell you, as long as you are breathing, you are worthy. You don't need to do more. You don't need to do all these things before you can feel worthy. You can start today. You can start right now and you can implement these tips today so that way you can really start feeling your worth and embodying that, showing up and being that worthy person because you are called to be worthy and you are called to feel worthy. So I'm going to teach you that today. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to have a surprise announcement and just a hint, it may save you some money somewhere. So stay tuned until the end of this video to find out more. Or if you've been watching my Instagram stories, you might already know. So as we get into this, um, I want to talk about how important it is to really know our self-worth. When we know our own self-worth and we don't allow someone to tell us what we are worthy of, things really shift in our life. And I know this from, from, from me. Like I have done so much work around self-worth and part of this uh, stemmed from past programming, the way I was raised, also from a toxic marriage of not knowing my worth and feeling worthless. Feeling like I was broken, even though I don't believe anyone is ever broken, but I felt that way. I felt like I had all this baggage and I would never be worth anything in my life. And that is so far from the truth. But I had to learn that and I had to understand the programming and I had to understand how to reprogram that. And in these tips are some of the things that I have done and that have been really helped me. So just to get into that, the very first thing is self forgiveness. Forgive yourself for the past. Forgive yourself for any mistakes you feel like you made. And I know you're thinking, what does that have to do with it? If you can't forgive yourself and you're hanging on to all of that, you're not going to be able to feel worthy. And I know that because I was that person. I couldn't forgive myself. If you don't know where to start with self-forgiveness, I've done a video on a self-forgiveness activity that is very, very powerful. I'm going to link it in the comments below so you can go watch it and you can do that activity too. Because we're here to grow and evolve as people. We are not here to stay the same. If, we, if you are, it's probably not the channel for you to watch. Anyways, self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself from everything from the past because if you're hanging on to all of that baggage and you're not forgiving yourself as a human, you're not going to feel worthy. You're not going to want to show up and be like, yeah, I feel worthy. No, you're not going to feel that way. It's not possible. I know that because I've been there. So self-forgiveness. The next is connect to supportive people. If you don't know supportive people or you don't have a tribe that's supportive of you, find one. If you can't find one, hire a coach, hire a mentor to help you get there. I have had some incredible mentors and coaches believe in me before I could believe in myself. They have painted that value back to me and showed me, Emily, this is your worth. It's actually unlimited. Like there is no price tag because I was looking for a price tag on myself, which is crazy, but I'm not the only one out there that does it. And I'll go into more in that in a little bit more details, but hire someone to help you. Like literally I'm being serious. Like if you can't get there by yourself, hire someone. If you can't connect with like-minded people, find somewhere that you can. The internet is full of them. And I know you're probably surrounded with them. You just have to open your eyes and see. But connect to people that are really going to value you. And do some cleanup around your current status of friends, family, whoever you're surrounding yourself with. Because that also has an impact on your self-worth. The next activity, 
This is one of my favorite activities and I have a lot of my clients do it because a lot of times we don't realize our worth that we have and the value that we have as humans. So take out a piece of paper. This takes like five or 10 minutes or longer if you want. Write down all your skills. This means everything. You can teach someone how to tie a shoe. Cool, that's a skill. Whatever skills you have, write them all down and then put a money amount beside it. And you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be like, dang, like I'm really good at all of this. And the money amount, I don't care what money amount you assign to it. It's just for you to have an awareness of the skills that you have as a human and the value and the worth that you bring to the table. Anywhere you show up, this is your worth. Like you are bringing it and you are worthy of all this. This is to really help you start embodying that self-worth. And put, like I said, put a dollar amount on it. Make a list on the side of all your skills. On the other side, put a dollar amount of it. And I would love if you would, if you send me a picture of this, send it to me on my social media platforms of this activity and let me know what you got out of it. Because for me, it was really valuable. It was for me to open up. I was like, wow, because one of my skills is like, I'm a really, really good mom, right? So I'm like, well, I don't really know how to put that down as a money amount. Well, it's kind of priceless. So some of my skills I put down as priceless that I couldn't put a price on it. And you can do that too. You can take my idea and put priceless on it. I'll let you do that. So do that activity. The next thing is stop comparing yourself to others. We put people on pedestals. And so we think if we are not all these big names like Oprah, Tony Robbins, um, I'm trying to think of someone, Eric Thomas, like all these big names, like we don't have any worth or value. And that's just us in our own head. Maybe we do it with friends. Oh, when I get to where she's at, oh, when I get to have what she's got, then I'm going to be worthy. That's some bullshit. So stop. Stop the comparison. Every single person here on earth is all on the same playing field. There's no one worthy, more worthy, and there's no one less worthy than you. We are all the same. Understand that. Understand that and know that. And the next time you go to put someone on a pedestal or you go to say, they're my hero, stop yourself. Stop yourself because that does no good for you. And it just really does not help your self-worth. And we're all on the same playing field. No one's got a bigger price tag than the other person. So that has to stop. The next, um, <coughs> excuse me, the next uh, tip I have, and this one I encourage you to do for at least 21 days. I know this is a stretch, but put it in your calendar every day for 21 days. Write down three things, and it's got to be different each day. Write down three things that you value about yourself. And this can be challenging. And I want you to be very, very specific in this. You value your heart. Okay, what, have, what about your heart do you value? Maybe you value your heart because you have so much love to give. Maybe you value your eyes because you can see beauty in everything. Be very specific and write this down every day. It literally takes like less than three minutes to write down three things that you value about yourself and do it first thing in the morning and understand that employers when they tell you that this is your worth this is all you can make per hour or per year that's just a number that does not that does not determine your self-worth the money in your bank accounts does not determine your self-worth whether you have a hundred in your bank account or you have a hundred thousand or you have a million, that doesn't determine your self-worth. It doesn't matter. Your past doesn't determine your self-worth. Listen, you wanna talk about past? I can talk about past all day long. It doesn't matter, you're still worthy. And understand that and actually go through and do these exercises, show up for yourself and start embodying that. And the last thing I will leave you with, or the last tip is show up 
and be that worthy person every day. How does she walk or how does he walk? How do, how do they talk? They're not talking negative bullshit up there. They definitely aren't. They're definitely not doing some bullshit that they don't want to do that causes drama, right? They're showing up. They're taking care of themselves. Mind, body, and soul. You got. You already know that I'm on that mind, body, and soul stuff. Take care of your mind, body, and soul. So just to recap. Oh, before I recap. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Before I recap, I am doing a two-week special of my 30-day course. I have dropped the price on it. It is less than a dollar a day for 30 days. So go check it out. I'm also going to link that in the comments below so you can go check it out. This course will literally change your life. I have taken everything I have learned in the last two decades on self-growth and self-discovery and how to get where I'm at, forgiveness, self-love, self-care, meditation, all these things. And I have put them in this course and I am actually slashing the price and dropping the price down to less than a dollar a day for 30 days for you guys. That was my announcement and I'm super excited about it because I know how much it's gonna impact your life. And I know the value that it has and the value that it's gonna bring in your life. So that was my announcement and I'm gonna recap on this video. To start feeling worthy, here are the things that you need to start doing. One, you should go invest in that course. It's gonna be the best $29.99 value you've ever invested in, ever, I promise you. And if it did not give you value, send me a message, I'll give you your money back, guaranteed. Um, one, start with self-forgiveness. If you don't know where to start with self-forgiveness, I have a separate video on that. I'll drop it in the comments below. You can find it in my channel. Two, connect to supportive people. Hire a, a coach or a mentor if you can't find someone. Make sure when you go to hire that coach or mentor, they actually are gonna get you the results. I know this because I've worked with both good and bad coaches. Um, take 10 minutes or more to write down all your skills. And on the other side, write down that money amount that you have, the, worth, the worthy a part of it. And if it's priceless, put priceless down. Stop comparing yourself to others regardless of who it is. And each day for the next 21 days, write down three things that you value about yourself every day. And see how this shifts your life. And then be aware. Ask yourself, if I am really worthy and I know my worth, how do I speak to myself? How do I show up? How am I walking? How am I acting? Ask yourself those questions. Be very aware of that. And start really working on your self-worth because this is gonna shift your entire life in all different aspects. And you're gonna realize, dang, Emily was right. When you start shifting your self-worth, things really start to shift in your life. So implement those steps, implement the action steps. Even if you don't have the $29.99 to go invest in the course, do everything else and you're still going to get results. And I would love to hear when you do get results, share them with me. Share them with me because that, that excites me every time I hear from someone who has found me on YouTube or has done any of the activities and it has been helpful. So share that with me. I would love to know. And again, I appreciate you so much and I'm sending you so much love and light. And until the next video.